if you really want to extend you know, our civilization so it lasts forever, you need to leave our solar system. This is really an endless adventure. Wherever we go, we take ourselves with us, right? Including all the disparities, all of the unequal stakes. How are we to course correct? There's a great arrogance to being alive, but people were exactly the same a thousand years ago. They just had a different set of tools and a different cultural set of norms. I think it has never been more important to try and learn. We're going to make mistakes too, but maybe by learning from the past, we don't have to make quite so many. As we look across all the planets that we know about in the universe, Mars is one of the planets that is most like Earth. So the question is, why did Earth and Mars grow up to be such different worlds? And, and what does that say about the preciousness of our own planet? And uh, did Mars ever have life? Does it still? We now have technological means to do things that we didn't have before. We have ways to conceptualize resource acquisition in which people on Earth could be freer to be more more artistic, freer to be more creative, freer to have more leisure time, more time spent with their families, spent with the planet, because we found a way where we don't have to consume the planet to achieve the, the things that we want to achieve because we've built machines and tools and assets that do that off the planet. Today, everything that we do, we should put on top of it the survival of species and the planet because they are key to our survival. We are part of nature. We are not humans here and nature here. We're all one and the same. The system is all interconnected.